Hey, hey, hey! We're back to Martian Gothic. Let's open up this locker. Like this. Alright. Let's see, we already took a look at... Well, let's take a look at her useless stuff here. After months in space, that's the last one I've got. Yeah, she's a bad smoker, apparently. Let's just get rid of that. I think there's no use. One contact lens, lost the other in the crash. Oh. I'd be better off without it. Okay, her vision's impaired. We don't need that either, so let's get rid of that. Lipstick! I'm too retro for my own good. Oh, that's... Whatever, let's get rid of that. What's this? A few friends back in London. Probably a picture of the game developers inserted into I, I don't know, whatever. Alright, that locker's full. Let's... Let's finally get to this game! Open the airlock. Out on the Martian surface without air in my tank would be a quick way to commit suicide. Okay, wrong door. That's 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 a good point. Let's run. She runs kind of retarded, but hey, we do. Decontamination sequence completed. Alright, decontamined. Felt a little weird, but whatever. Let's open the store. Door malfunction. Computer override required. Oh, Bitch. What's wrong with this bloody door? Could someone get me out of here? The decontamined doors should have a general bypass on the computer. I'll try and get you out. And that's why we cannot start off as a... Matlock. So we're gonna have to go to Kenzo. Let's go to Kenzo. Kenzo's alright. He's he's an okay guy. Ah, for the hell of it. I know we we skip this, but you know, take this photo. Here's what this photo is. Uh, you know, assuming I can do this correctly, we're I'm working on it here. Uh, I'm uh, uh, yeah. I'm away from Tokyo. Yeah, he's a long way from Tokyo. That's apparently a picture of somewhere in Tokyo. We'll, we might be seeing something like that again later on. Alright, what can I say about Kenzo? He's like the, uh... Well... The computer geek of the crew. We gotta decontam first. Let's do this. Completed. There was something wrong about that decontamination. Something very wrong. All right. No one, no one's a fan of the decontamination process. I don't quite understand why, but whatever. All right. Where are we? Is anyone around? Anyone alive? Or dead? If you're dead, don't answer. All right, that's some that's some harsh and gothic humor there, I guess. Where are we? I I really wish I could remember here. I believe we are on. Fuck it, I'll have to figure this out later. Yeah, this map's kind of useless, but you know, what can you the do? These members nicknamed the quarters after famous streets. I think this is Madison Avenue. Ah, okay, okay, cool. Cool, let's... Let's check the map again. He said Madison Avenue. That would be... Where are you? I'm so blind. Here we are. We're we're around right here where the mouse cursor is. That's the airlock we were in. We were in airlock A. So we're, we're, we're right about here right now. Let's continue. On our Martian journey. What's this? A door. Right. Right. A door. The bulkhead's sealed. If one's sealed, they'll all be sealed. Okay. The only way to raise them is through the main computer. Bulkhead sealed. That's unfortunate. That cuts off some of the base. And, yeah, look at me. I'm just 
totally being stupid here. Actually, I, I'm trying to look for lockers. There are lockers scattered out throughout this damn place, and... Uh, let's see, open door. Rainbow tag required. Tags. We're going to be picking up a lot of tags in this game, because those are basically the keys for these different doors. Alright. Uh, if anyone here was alive, would they have left the corpse lying in a corridor? Okay, despite... Alright, despite his commentary and the howling, let's, uh, search his dead body. There's, there's nothing to find on a dead body, alright. Oh, yeah. Well, things, there's, there's obviously a reason why there's silence now. Starting to find dead people everywhere, that's... Not a good sign. Well, call me a techno-zen hippie, and I've been called that before. But there's a dead man hovering in front of me in the Boulevard Saint-Michel. I can hear him speak. In my mind. So, we've got reanimation, telepathy, and levitation. Now I call that downright supernatural. An alien haunting. Oh, you want something, Kenzo? So yeah, we've, uh, we've established there's a presence on this planet, which is not quite human or, uh, normal. Let's open up this hatch. Okay, there's nothing in this hatch. We could approach that body that's floating over there, and, uh, yeah, we, we could, but that would be a terrible idea. Once you approach him, he will fall down, and, yeah, we don't want that right now. Actually, I don't really want that ever, but <laughs> there, there's going to be no avoiding it. Let's search this dead body. Awesome. Take the micro quarter. Orange tag, let's take that. Let's, let's uh, use this. Antonio Felici, base director, day log, August 8, 2018. 11.56 p.m. I was walking down Broadway when I first heard them coming. There's a dead man hovering in front of me. I just walk on by. I can still hear gunfire. Earth Control should never have shipped those weapons in. If anyone gets to hear this, tell Alan B. I resigned. I handed the master key over to Judith. The crew trust her more than me. They think I'm in Alan B.'s pocket. Well, I guess I used to be. Yuri broadcast a message a few moments before system closed down. He said, stay alone, stay alive. Sure, but stay alive how long? An hour at most? The end will come soon. Main bulkheads are sealed. Shuttle bay area obstructed. No way out. I'm heading back to my own room. Lock myself in. Sooner or later they'll come for me, and that'll be the finish. If anyone hears this, tell my wife I kept the faith. She'll know what that means. Some things are personal. Well... He obviously didn't make it back to his room. Let's examine it. It says Felici on his name badge. Well, yeah, it's obviously the guy who uh, made the message. Yellow tag required. Yeah, that door right here, if I remember correctly, is very important. This leads to mood. I don't remember what mood stands for abs uh, offhand, but mood is the main computer of Vita Base. And, uh, the voice you heard at the very beginning opening sequence, the cinematic, that was her. And this is the main reason Kenzo's here. He's the only one out of the crew of three who can interact with that computer, because it has some sort of special interface. And he's specially trained at doing that. Awesome. Another hatch. Yeah, we'll be taking that health boost. I've got a feeling we're going to be needing it. Uh, can I... No, I don't think I can examine that tank. Actually... Uh, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna be making save states here. Because 
I... The very beginning, you need to be very careful. Looks like the lock mechanism has been heat fused. Okay, that door is unopenable. Just gonna, you know, bump into corners and shit. And, uh, yeah, another dead body. Let's search it. Nothing on there. Alright. Well, there's obviously a dead body right there, but we're kind of running out of time, so once again I'm going to... Uh, I think I'll just save here and here. And, uh, yeah, this has been part two of Martian Gothic. Where we've been playing is Kinzo. It's, it's been awesome. Exploring this dead, dead place. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be getting back to it later. See you then.